Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a navigation bar in HTML and CSS. First thing we're going to do is use our document I've already created. I've just got head tags, body tags, I've got my style sheet connected, um, and I've got a title, a navigation bar tutorial. So now, now we're going to make the navigation. So we're going to start with um, a nav tag, and then we're going to um, use a URL. Thing, that's an unordered list and then what else we're going to do is add list items so inside the list items we're going to add a href equals hash because it's not it doesn't need to go anywhere of course you'll do it somewhere for yours oops why did I put that there um, and then we'll put the end tag for it and between there we're going to put um, home and we're going to copy this five times. Oops, I made that smaller. We're going to copy that five times. Okay, now what we're going to do is change each one and I'll pause the video. Okay, so I've done all that and now we're going to go straight into the CSS. So we're first going to use the universal selector to select everything. Um, so we're going to um, add no margin. Um, yeah so to zero and then we're going to start styling the navigation so select the nav and then we're going to add um text align center and then we're going to have the whole thing a width of 70 or 60 to 65 percent um and then we're going to also add margin we don't want any margin at the top but we want right and left auto so that it should make it center so we're just going to run that and see how it looks so far. Um, running, perhaps we don't want to run the style sheet. Save that all and run in Chrome. Okay, as you can see, that's how it looks so far. Not very pretty. So now we're gonna go to um, nav li and we're gonna add list style non. I'm also gonna um, add display inline block that will list horizontally and not vertically. And then we're gonna also add nav ul, just remove padding from the left that it will center properly. And um, so we're gonna do um, um, zero. And let's see how it looks now. Yeah, it's looking better. And now what we're gonna do is just add a little bit to. Um, the links the text decoration it was non also color white because we're gonna have a black background for the navigation itself so background color so background color equals black so now it looks like that so far why hasn't it changed oops because it added um as if it was an ID. Okay, now we're gonna uh, make the um, list item text um, font size equals maybe 1.2m, something like that. Okay, that's quite a good size. And then we're gonna also add a padding um, to the nav. Um, top and bottom, six pixels. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to add a margin to each list item itself. We'll add um, one pixel for the top and bottom, and then for the right and left, we'll do 12 pixels. Something like, yeah. And then um, we're going to um, add this really cool thing, which will make it look really, really cool. So it's border radius. I don't know if you've heard of this property. It makes them um, rounded corners. So 100 pixels will be a fully rounded corner. And we're going to do naught for the top left, naught for the top right, and then the two bottom ones. So we can basically do naught 50 pixels. Um, no, you can't actually. You have to do naught, um, naught 50 pixels. That will do both of the top. Yeah, like that. And now it looks quite cool, curved things. You can add more if you want. That's how I'm going to do it now. Now, this is a little bonus to make it that different things when you hover and things so what we're going to do is add because the one we are on right now um not necessarily but one home so we're going to add it a class called selected 
and then to select the class we're gonna and we're dot selected okay and then comma nav a hover so we're gonna add a pseudo class um for when um um links in the navigation are hovered and also when the one that has the class selected so this is the styling that will happen now i'm gonna um get the color because i'm not sure what color it is but i'm gonna get it so i'll just pull so i've got the color i want to use now just say i got this color from html color codes info um it's got some dashes between but it's a really good website you can even get colors from pictures which is really cool i'm not promoting this or anything i'm not gonna paid for this but it's a really cool website and then now as you can see the selected one and when you hover has that so i hope you enjoyed this video i think this is a really cool navigation bar thank you for watching like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next video bye